Welcome back to Daymare 1998. Uh, last I left off, this uh, facility came under attack due to a pathogen got, that got released, and I'm pretty sure it's from a submarine. And now we are back. Oh, one second, got a message on my phone. All right. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. It's been a couple of days. All systems active. All right, that was quick. Will you leave? Oh, I'm not allowed to take it. All systems down. Shit. I absolutely have to recover those samples somehow. Yep, nope, that sucks. Hmm. All right, he was gunned down. The remains of Agent West. Sandman, do you copy? I found West's body. Looks like he was shot to death. No sign of Crycheck yet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, God damn this cocksucking storm! Hmm. Looked like he was shot twice in the chest. All right, what's this? A tape. Audio log. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Yes. Agent Lock, Agent West. I've lost all communication with Mission Controller. I... Uh, I got shot by some unidentified assailant. Agent Kreitzer chased after the man. And I... I don't know what happened to him following the pursuit and... Uh, I... I don't know how long I'll be able to hold out for... Okay. I don't want to attempt to hack that yet, because it's on hard, and I don't want to waste a wire just yet. Because I'll probably fail that. Alright. Of course I miss. There we go, that's what I want to see. There we go. Alright, he is dead. Okay. I got eight bullets left in the chamber. Alright. Now we gotta be careful. Uh, there's some collision with him. He'll probably spawn. I don't want to go down yet. Well, actually, does it work? Okay, no. Yeah, I wouldn't drink the water here either. Oop! You know, I'm gonna go this way. No, I don't like that big room. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. So I actually put bullets back into my uh, assault rifle. I just had to give it right to the assault rifle. I hear breathing. It's above me. Yep, there it is. Are you... Okay, no collision. The old collision test. If you can walk through something, hi, Chan. I am not walking through metal detectors. That'll probably set something off easily. That will be after. Hey, buddy. You want to just die? Thank you. Are you? Yes. All right, I'm going to reload. Prepare to see me reload like this multiple times. Alright. And change. That's a good sign. Uh, let's see, what can I see? A body. And a few other things. Uh, you know, let's try and go in there. I can't go in there. Now, are you... Okay. You tried. I thought I heard something. The collision test failed. Whew. Damn, that actually almost startled me. I'm like, do I hear something? Nothing's moving in here. Alright. Oh. 
Nope, sir. You're gonna... I wasted it. Nope. Oh, oh god. Sir. I just wasted all my bullets on you. I'm not happy about that. I can only imagine how hard hard is is uh, oof. All right. Ooh, we got uh, encrypted file. Probably another one for the website if you want lore. MG510 ammo. Is that my assault rifle? It is. Now it has 30. It is full. Probably save it for a rainy day, though I did waste it very early on because I didn't know any better. Alright, let's go. You know what? One second. Oh, is there a second? Come on. Come on. I'm trying. Ah, oh, whatever. I was gonna close the door, but eh, well. You know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very paranoid. Just let me close the door. Come on. Is it a bug? I got a feeling you should be able to close the door, anyways. Yeah, I think it's just a bug. Oh, what's this? A portrait depicting the god, Greek god Ares, it is said that his beauty is equal to his lust for violence. Ares! A portrait depicting the god Hephaestus. He lived in the volcanoes, the god of blacksmithing. Alright, double tap, you dead. I think. Oh, Kronos, yeah. The portrait depicting the Greek god Kronos. He is the father of Zeus who devoured his children for fear that one would usurp his power, which, yes, Zeus was swapped with a rock. Yeah. A portrait de depicting the Greek god Apollo, a deity of the sun. He brightened mankind's future with art, poetry, and music. Alright. Once again, encrypted file. A portrait depicting the Greek god Pollux. One half of Dioscuri with his twin brother Castor, a skilled boxer. He is said to be immortal. Now, that's also the name of the vial I took. And I got a feeling the part that Pollux is named after is for Immortal. That's a guess at the moment. Astronauts. Hmm. I'm getting RE6 vibes right now. The private office of the founder. From here, I should be able to restore system passwords. Man, how many of these people are all around who just got completely annihilated? Ah. Okay. Uh. Dr. Ware's Diary. Part 1. Castor and Pollux are the possible names, but could be more appropriate than these. Indeed, the revolutionary breakthrough that's Pollux could never have existed without its breth brethren, Castor. Perhaps the most malev malevolent chemical weapon ever conceived. As a matter of fact, we know pra practically nothing of it before salvage of that... Oh god, nothing of it before salvage of that Japanese submarine was completed in the 70s, except that it brought about irreversible damage to organisms that would shame even Saren. That being said, the whole program, one that will inevitably rewrite the history of the BC weapon, and the elevate the United States even higher in its supreme global pedestal didn't arrive merely by chance. No, not by not mere chance, but rather divine intervention that the vessel delivering its toxic payload to our predecessors. Never reached its destination, instead becoming happily entangled off the coast of the North Fall Islands of Washington State, where it remained unseen 
and forgotten for years. It may as it may well be fluke. It may well be fluke or a fluke. However, that particular type of jellyfish native to the islands came in contact with itsy bitsy doses that gradually escaped the rotten hull, instantly transforming, perhaps evolving, and affecting some of the island villagers. But it wasn't until the obscure crisis claimed its first victim, human victim, that our government decided to step in and take action, stumbling upon the terrible truth that is, in fact, the only reason we're here today is due to some pure and simple incompetence of the crew. The funny thing is, this narrow escape is a potently disastrous yet poorly executed revenge plot by some defeated nation overseas has once again turned out to be quite a luck for us. Whew. Part 2. 1973 was the year the Aegis Laboratories were built on the island, designated North Blue 2, in order to safely extract and repurpose the liquid gas we discovered in the Japanese submarine. I still remember the salvage operation and construction works, as the company gave me free reign when it came to the most of the architectural and design choices. We were uh, able to free part of the hull from its seabedded tome, then later built the concrete bunker that currently houses it. It was one heck of an engineering job, but the facilities we use today are more than worth the immense effort. The lower level's North Blue 2 facility, the most top secret ones contain the submarine, and the most vital experiment rooms, while the other levels contain the observation deck, loading area for the shipping of sensitive materials, additional labs, and a storage area. On the other hand, the top levels, Accessible by ordinary staff include office space in the conference room, modern server room, and necessary amenities. Most of the people who work here have no idea what lies beneath and are ignorant to the fact that they are parading around a, a monument where history is being rewritten every single day. Come to think of it, I doubt anyone truly knows what's going on down here. Part 3. Caster would probably be the ultimate weapon for large-scale chemical attacks, yet the dispersal method is surprisingly simple. The CSR-03 gas is comprised of very high temperatures and spectral reinforcement tanks that are loaded onto an aircraft. When the aircraft reaches its targets, single or multiple caster cylinders are jettisoned. Once they strike the surface, the release mechanism is triggered and three shielding petals open up leaving the inner cylinder exposed. At this point, the CRS-03 is released at high pressure, which converts the pressurized liqu liquid to make a ga to a gas making and extremely volatile. Oh, excuse me. This is where Castor shows its unique colors. The gas then expands rapidly like a mighty flame and feeds on the oxygen in the surrounding area, creating a sort of closed-off environment that makes it nearly impossible for any breathing organism to survive. Gradually, it will lose all effected, effectiveness and demand... Oh, God. Yeah, English is my first language dematerialize and leaving no trace behind. If a large enough quantity were to be spread to highly popul popul populated locations, it could affect thousands upon thousands of victims within seconds, instantly consuming a population. Four military or a group of unpleasant and expendable mercenaries sent out to, uh, sent out to the scene of a confrontation. Hmm. Portrait depicting the god hero Jason in possession of the Golden Fleece. According to legend, it had the ability to heal any wound. It makes me think of Percy Jackson, the Olympians, because the Golden Fleece and the tree and all that. A portrait depicting the Greek god Castor. One ha. Oh, this is the brother of Pollux. I'm like, why is this sound familiar? A brilliant horse tamer and protector of weary soldiers. I'm hearing a radio. It's like over there, but I guess we're doing this first. Wait, oh, okay. Oh, it might be him. Maybe. We'll find out in a second. Weird. I think it's on the bottom of my mouse. Stop it. Alright, we go. 
Oh, geez. I'm actually typing. Cast a light onto the darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. Oh, 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 oh. That is his brother. Caster. Or he protects soldiers. Okay. Uh. Oh, whoops. Nope. Oh, was that not it? Oh, wait. Oh! No matter the injury, it will never end his journey. He's the immortal one. He is Pollux, right? Yeah, P-O-L-L-U-X. Because he's immortal. Interesting puzzle using Greek letters. I think it's Greek letters. One second. Alright. Q W E R T Y U I. Okay, I was making sure. P U. Oh, nope, 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 nope. God darn it. Nope, 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 nope. Just, yep. Pull. Lux. Long and perilous war, the journey of the uh, to enter in his possession. Hmm. Man, I didn't expect to be quizzed today. Nope. Okay, you and Caster cannot be it. Definitely not you. I'm gonna probably get one of these wrong. Nope. So maybe it's uh, Ares. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's Ares. Right, I forgot Sprint. Oh, come on. Get in there. Ares. R E. Oh. E -E S. Oh, nope, that wasn't it. It was the journey of the Argonauts into enter into its possession. Long and perilous was the journey. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. J Jason? The journey, journey. Okay, Jason. Nope, okay. Hmm. Mm. Long and perilous was the journey, the journey, journey. Journey, 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 journey. Apollo. Mm-hmm. This is where my stupidity comes into play. A hollow. Nope. Long and perilous was the journey of the Argonauts to enter into its possession. Wait, enter into it. Second, would it be no? Caster probably. Pollux. 
Hmm. I am clueless. I really don't think it's a Festus. I honestly don't. And it's not Ares. Are there more down here? Alright. It's not Ares. I don't think it's you. I extremely doubt it's Kronos. But I can try. Also, technically a Titan. But whatever. I think I'm missing something. No. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Long and perilous was the journey of the Argonauts to enter into its possession. Let me try this. Um... So no. So it's not that. Trying to spell this right. Isn't not golden fleece, unless I'm spelling it wrong. This will probably get cut out a bit. Golden fleece. Oh, now it works. Mission control. If you can hear me, I've just restored the facility passcodes from the matrix. I'm in the process of gathering the 731 samples and data off the server. Over. I love, like I said last time, how every zombie. Oh, you're moving. Unless that's just a boy body who's having collision on the floor and doesn't know what to do. Yeah. I love how, like I said the other time, zombies wait until just when you solve something or turn the power on to come back. So I got a feeling these ones are going to be up. Come on. Which one of you wants to say hi to me? Or, oh, you're going to wait until I walk by. I see how it is. All 
Alright, which one are you? Anybody? Alright, I really don't want to walk through there, but... Oh, okay, nothing happens. Okay. Oh, I could just walk out the front door right now. Technically. Alright, I gotta be careful, because... They're prop. Yep. Yeah. Alright, come here. Come here. Come on. You want it. There we go. One more. Oh. I'm gonna have to reload my gun. Holy cow. And I was supposed to save the last one for myself. Alright, one second. I gotta reload the mag. I still have a decent amount of ammo. I'm not gonna say it's a lot of ammo. Alright. The security room's probably where I wanna go. That. Can I take his. Wait, I just noticed. Let me take his gun. Please, for the little guy, let me take his gun. Uh, there's probably some really good things in there, but the hacking is weird. Uh, I'll try it once. If I fail, I fail. Alright. Oh, never mind. Oh. What's this? What's this? Oh, I see you. I want those. I really want those. Alright. I keep forgetting there's the quick menu, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a uh, hoof. A nice amount. So, what do these not go away? And then some kind of mind enhancing drug. I hope there's a storage in the game, because I don't want to hold on to some of these things for too long. Also, I forgot how to heal in this game. I think it's Q. Am I right? Is it Q? Key bindings? Q, 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 Q? Yes. Okay. And if you hold Q, it uses it over time so you don't have less chance of getting addicted. Right, right, right. Are you coming back? I don't know. I'm going to read your file. Or is it you that's coming back? Please don't be 10 pages. Ah. Okay. Mm-hmm. One well, you guys are coming back. I'm gonna come back through when you're gonna jump me. Alright, nothing over here. Alright. Oh, that's the sample. Here comes the fun. All right, let's see who's up. Who decide to arrive? Mission control to Hades. Sandman here. Can anyone hear me? What is your status? Over. This is Liev. About time. What the hell happened? I've retrieved the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Understood. We're having trouble with the comm system. To make matters worse, this storm isn't getting any less wild, and the loads are being pushed to the limit. I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Your new rendezvous point is the main entrance, so head there. Hurry up and grab the data so we can get the hell out of here. Watch your back. Open comms for 2236. Over. I'd love to leave just now with the sample instead of just, you know, trying to get data off the servers. Ah. We all know this is going to end badly the longer I stay. Oh, wow. It's just a, literally a server room. Wait, is that a being going to be down here? The one that took out the entire crew? Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! Right now! It's not a gun, it's a wrench. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. You almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I'm, I'm no threat to you. 
My name's John. It's John Fay. I work for Aegis in the information science department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours. Since all hell broke loose. All communications are down, and I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveyors, cameras, and naturally, the personnel, files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that one of our own stole some research and covered the whole up as an accident. Obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. Why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Ooh, about that. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building? You're not gonna let us die here. Nah, no, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Uh, could you... Oh. Yes, there's actually an email here. Uh, dear brother, I can't explain too much, but this chat will be useful in case something happened to me. Love you, James. Max, good evening. K gives you the green light to retrieve what we discussed earlier. Job 314. God damn it, where have you been? I've been waiting two whole days for confirmation. I was about to call it off. Max, we have extra pro extra precautions to help ensure the mission is a success. Here, mm, okay. Okay, so yeah, someone did. Purification. Oh. Warning. Evacuation sequence activated. Was it the end of a Resident Evil when you blow up the. Uh, I got a feeling I want this. I got a feeling this is gonna be real nasty getting out. Alright, let's go. The front doors are locked. God damn it. We're gonna need a few minutes to override it remotely. Just hang Oh in. no. I was worried about that. Yeah, he is. Okay, take it. Alright, give me a second so I can reload my machine gun. Thank you. Back to base. My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. Oh, it's AG's. I thought it was AG's. Bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no good 
Hexacore players. It was the most incredible fight I ever saw. We just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the map. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. <laughs> This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. The special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. Maybe we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there. All ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform for spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Uh, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. Oh no, you're gonna turn on us. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You both got a lot in common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you just say to me? You better watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon, our orders stand. He's right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, David. Because I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. And I think he would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? If you say so, Major, it's just... Every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him. And I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you'll go back to flying solo any day now. Ah, there it is. I just knew something was gonna happen. Fuck me. Hey, Major. You looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Dryden. Only place I want to see you falling is on the map after our bouts. Okay. Now focus and keep this bird up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down. Ah, he's on fire watch. Okay, so who killed who? You might want to move fast. Oh, wait, am I, am I going to play him? So, interesting. This is Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Inside, please. Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. 
Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chopper nearly took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. Right. Sorry, Sam. Those big shots called in last night to schedule transport passing through the area. Night exercise or something. In and out. Real hush-hush. You should be safe to go back up there. Just keep your head down. I read you, Ken. Although next time, uh, you know, I'd be mighty grateful for any notice. Over and out. <sighs> hey, baby, it's me. Sam? Sorry, I was out at the generator. You usually don't call this late. Hmm, the generator. Oh, yeah. I remember to turn off the lights in the house. Otherwise, you have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rascally raccoons? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, I was just on the radio with Ken, so I thought I'd chicken in on you. And... I feel bad about not being able to take you to the cherry blossom feast. I know how cherry blo it's his apple so, blossom. <laughs> well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? No, 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 nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And ho hold on a second. Shit, I, I can't find my meds. Uh, I must have dropped him when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those for... Don't... Don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with... With this for a long time now. But Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them? <sighs> How could I forget? With you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. It's just a few more hours. Go to bed and get some rest. I'll be home in the morning. I love you. Oh yeah, nothing bad's gonna happen. I I can manage it. I can manage it. Just like last time. I have no idea what you got. Oh. Uh, Major! Uh, what's going on here? Uh, David! Help me, please! Uh, Don't move, leave! Put the uh, weapon down! No fucking way. Talk to me, sir. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, Alex, he broke a vial in my face. Uh, Enough chatter. Uh, Step away from him uh, right now. Oh, am I the traitor? Uh, hey, how about we keep someone to fly? Uh, God damn you, Lee. Well, well. <laughs> Who would have thought? Tonight's the night that you finally fail a mission. Lo and behold, the great Sandman <laughs> isn't as great after all, is he? <laughs> and who would have thought? Tonight's also the night when you die. You know, for what it's worth, I can honestly say I had the real displeasure of serving under you, Major. Oh, and don't worry, I'll take care of these. Farewell. What son of a bitch? So oh, that's not good. That coming. Uh. Ah, so I was the bad guy. Okay. Oh, chapter one complete. Nice. <laughs> well, I think that's probably a really good place to stop it, so I'll just see you next time. Let's see what leave and why he did it, what he did. But yep, see ya.